Hi everyone. This is Scratchboard Art and Stuff. And my name is Bob Bickle. And this is the image I did a scratchboard of. And I hope you uh, enjoy the video. Pictured in front of you is the uh, tools I use to do my scratchboard. All these tools are sitting on a white kitchen towel that I use to place my scratch boards on. And when I brush off my shavings from the scratch board, it gets on the towel. So it's not getting uh, brushed all over my work area. And to the left is a clipboard, a standard clipboard. To the right of that is a bottle of Dick Blick Black Cat Waterproof Indian Ink. It's a three ounce bottle. Above that is just a standard number two pencil. To the right of that are two quill pens. And then my trusty facial brush. It's called ELF Total Face Brush. I use it to brush off the surface of my scratch board to get the shavings off. Next to that is two styluses I use to scratch the surface of the scratch board. First one is a wedge. It's ground flat on a 30 degree angle. The one sitting next to it is a point that just ground to a sharp point. To the right of that is a Copic multi-liner Indian ink pen. These pens are uh, refillable and you can also get new felt tips for them. Next what you see is my setup for transferring from an overlay to my scratch board. At the bottom you see my bridge that I bridge over the scratch board to do my scratching so I don't mar up the surface of the scratch board. You have the clipboard with a white transfer paper and on top of that you see the overlay that I drew that I'm going to transfer from. And that red item you see is a seam ripper for sewing. This is the overlay and the transfer paper under it with the scratch board. You can see I've already transferred onto the scratch board. I just used the uh, seam ripper to transfer all my lines from our overlay to the scratch board. Once I transferred, I remove all these items and I start my scratch board. Now this is the beginning of my scratch board. I'm not going to do anything fancy. It's just going to be standard hatch and cross hatch. Later on the video, you'll see that I use some Indian ink to do his hair on his forehead. It's a lot easier to scratch the proper value underneath the hair and then go back with Indian ink and put the hair in. Uh, it's virtually impossible to scratch around all that hair 
So I just put the background value in and then brush or use a quill pen to uh, put the hair in. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy it.
Well, friends, that pretty much does it for this video. I sure hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please su consider subscribing. And if you liked it, please give me a like. And if you're so inclined, tap on that bell. And until I see you again, I hope you do well. Take care now. Bye.